I hate how dainty she is sometimes. You do? Sometimes it's just ridiculous. Like earlier, I went to hand her my styrofoam cup from Tom Thumb, getting my drink in, and she picked it up like this, like it was diseased or something. You're like, ew. I thought you liked it. You always call me a dainty princess. Oh, and if you're new, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> How have your looks affected the way people huh? judge you? Wait, how have my looks? Okay, wait. This is a perf question for me that was not planned. Holy yeah. crap. First of all, I have lived the life of someone who was just overweight. I've lived the life of someone who was morbidly obese. And I've also lived the life of someone who is super morbidly obese. And every single one of those, I get treated differently. And it's kind of poopy. I get treated worse with how I look now. And I feel like it's very shallow of people to judge someone based on how they look and like treat them a certain way based on how they look. I don't think that's fair. I feel like everyone should have an equal opportunity. I get a lot of rude comments towards, towards me, whether that be in like real life or whatever, like people stare at me in public. Obviously I get a lot of hate online about how I look. When I was like 331, I got treated so much better than how I get treated now. The end. I could rant about this for 500 years, I feel like. Don't you kind of have to go outside for people to judge you or treat you differently? Don't you think if people were treating her like crap out in public, she would be monetizing those stories here? The only thing I ever remember hearing was the beanbag in a hurry comment. I'm not just wasting money. I have money. You guys don't need to worry about that. Even if I didn't have money or if I did or whatever, what I spend my money on is up to me and purely me. And what you spend your money on is up to you and purely you. I have house responsibilities, I have pets, and I have a job I have to get back to. That is just how my life is. I am not like the typical YouTuber. I mean, girl, I can't go swim with the fucking sharks. I ain't got time for it. And I know I'm preaching and I'm getting crazy with it, but it's frustrating because I see these type of comments so much. But if I just did YouTube, I wouldn't get up off the bed every day. I wouldn't. I'd probably sit in the bed all day long. Oh, the foreshadowing. She really called that. Goral went full time with YouTube and literally became bed bound. That's crazy that someone can be that lazy. There's a few people I would like to just, you know, they've maybe beat someone up. I don't know, I haven't seen this person in like four or five years, so. So is beating people up illegal? I mean, yeah, you can I guess it would be, right? It. Yes, Amber, assault is illegal. I can't imagine how truly mentally taxing it is to be around her. She really is just a 500 pound toddler. Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. All right, Casey. What do you mean what's wrong with that me? No, God dang. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, sh- Oh, oh sh- Yeah, because carelessly plopping your extremely overweight body down on someone else's property and destroying it is so hilarious. Not to mention the fact that there were elderly residents probably trying to rest and Amber is just out there scream cackling. I would go to the past and I would be on the bus and I would stick up for Rosa Parks. Ooh, yeah. Because Rosa Parks says I've always looked up to her. She really thought she did something there. I'd love to hear her talk more about Rosa Parks. Something tells me she doesn't actually know much about her. Rapid fire annoying moments coming in. Your pappy had a heart attack today. Life is so short. I feel like people with rounder, fatter faces look bad with short hair because it makes their face look rounder and fatter. I get majority of people saying, wow, you're a really good writer. More so just let my fingertips talk. Black on black on black on black. Oh, of course you <laughs> When did I become such a blackie? Don't say that. Wait, what do you mean? I would marry orange chicken every day and I would eat it every day. I would wake up every day and fall in love with it all over again and just kind of experience the love I have for it. So that person's light is making me look 
look really Yeah, I look like a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? Hush. Are you calling me big? No, let's talk about me. If um I was skinny, I would still have a big butt because when my mom was really skinny, she had big butt, big boobs. Yeah, so I get it from my mom. Who used one of these? Oh my gosh, you didn't? No, did you just open them? Yeah. I want to jump off. Yeah. I'm scared. My feet are hurt a little. I'm wearing the wrong shoes. And this is higher than it looks, okay, you guys? I can't. I'm scared. I'm actually scared right now. <laughs> Jump. Oh, desserts. Right, if I was to get it. Oh, <laughs> how rude. I look like, like I said, a hot mess. Da -da -dee -da -doo 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 Are you raging yet? Just wait, there's more. Oh, it's warmer than last time. Yeah, I don't know how to get this one. Put it under tail. Put it under the tail. <laughs> Poor Twinkie crying like she knew it was gonna happen. At least she had Amber there as a human float, I guess. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. Um, uh, mama needs a vacation. Same. Oh, sorry. So if I could find Becky anywhere, it would be over here at these shirts. But I could be wrong. Wow, I was right. I was like, if I could find Becky anywhere, it would be at the shirts. <laughs> That's funny. First of all, what in the world would she need a vacation from? Her vacations consist of sitting inside of hotel rooms and ordering food anyway. Secondly, I always laugh at Becky knowing Amber was coming from the sound of her scooter. She was already turned around and looking for her. I'll be eating three pretty big slices of pizza. Pepperoni. I'm not really a pepperoni girl, but... Oh well. It's to the point where I kind of have to like force myself to eat right now. I really don't want to eat. Like, I don't. Just don't eat then. Like, if you're not hungry and you really don't want to eat, then just don't. I promise you will survive. But instead, she shoved three big slices of pizza down her pie hole. Makes sense, Goral. No, I'm not only on YouTube for money. I started YouTube because I loved YouTube. But I do make money from YouTube. Everyone should have a job, in my opinion, unless you can't, which completely I understand that. But I'm saying everyone needs to make money some way, somehow. Everyone has to pay for the roof over their head, for electricity, you know, vet bills, hospital bills, like car insurance, car payment, whatever it may be. We all work to make money, you know? I have saved a lot of money from doing YouTube. I have saved it because I, there was a moment where I thought I was gonna get weight loss surgery. Maybe one day I want to buy a house and, you know, now I just feel like maybe the universe was having me save it because maybe one day I should leave YouTube. I don't think that will ever happen. Honestly, what would she even do if she left YouTube? She is really very lucky to have this as a job because she couldn't do much else. Either keep saving that coin or lose the weight because that should be a big concern. You never know when your YouTube income could just stop.